Welcome to installing SimplePress version 5 for WordPress 3.3 or greater. Why or why not SimplePress? It's a form software that is more than BBPress and less overhead and learning than BuddyPress. So I'm going to use Instant WordPress as you've seen from my local as a previous movie. Copy and paste this over and bring up, uh, it's by default, uh, instant uses admin password. I recommend you change that in the your system, even though uh, it's only in your local drive. If you use Duplicator, you're gonna be in trouble. So we're gonna install uh, add new. We're installing the plugin. And again, you go to bad her header error message if you don't use 3.3. I downloaded it and put it in my downloads file. Now I'm going to upload it to WordPress, which is all on my local hard drive here. We're going to do install, and it's going to unpack. Now, unlike your most plugins, you're actually going to have a two-step process here, where after I install the plugin and I activate it, we actually have to go through a second process. And you're going to see that here coming up in just a second. I apologize if you find the screen a little small. I'm trying to handle things for tablets and for desktops. Okay, we've activated the plugin. It's going to go over to the menu after we've done this here. And then we're going to activate again where it's actually going to build the SQL tables. And we have our plugin. Here it comes. Refresh. We now do our forms. And it's installed on the left side. We perform an installation. It goes and builds the tables out. You'll see them in here in just a second. And that's pretty much it. Our next video will be about the actual configuration of SimplePress. Certainly hoping this helps you out. My name's TCAT, and don't want you to go through the pain that I went through. Thanks a lot.